welcome to this video. Today I am showing you gelatos, scribble sticks, and distress crayons. So they're all made by different people. First of all, I have two of the three sets. I do not have the neutrals, but these are Dina Wakely Media scribble sticks. And I have actually mine all mixed up. But these are scribble sticks. And we're gonna have fun playing with those today and I will show you how to use those. So, the next one is Tim Holtz. And these are distress crayons. A lot of these things are very similar, but just made by different companies. But these are the distress crayons. So I'll show you a little bit of those. And here we have gelatos. These are made by Faber Castle and you have the large jumbos and you have the smaller ones. So we will be playing with those as well. First of all, I'll just show you. I am using 140 pound weight watercolor paper because we're going to be adding water to a lot of this and I just want to show you roughly how uh, everything comes out and different things you can use and the different techniques. When doing these, I find using a clear sheet of uh, cellophane or wrap, usually it comes in your packages of your different products that you buy, uh, works great. So save those when you have them because they actually work really, really well for doing things like watercolors or any of the things we're doing today, like the gelatos and the scribble sticks. I'm just gonna try and get it a little cleaner because I used it not too long ago. None of our color is gonna come off on there, but anyways, there we go, there's that. So one thing you can do with these, you can use water and you can actually make new colors and turns them into a little bit almost like a watercolor. Um, there's a lot of pigment in these, but the one thing you do not want to do is put them directly onto your paper if you're planning on smudging them by any stretch. Because by doing that, you will have that definitive line of where they were. And there's a lot of pigment in these things. So one thing I can show you that we can do with these is we can stamp with them. So I'm going to take a stamp. Uh, let's see which stamp should we use. Here's a good one. I will take this flower. This is from Dina Wakely. And I will ink it up. And I will show you three different flowers using the three different projects or products, sorry, that uh, we have here today. So we have flower one, flower two, and flower three. We'll just ink that up again so it's nice and visible. There we go. So there's those. So now we are going to start with Dina Wakely scribble sticks. And with the scribble sticks, actually with all of them, this works great. So we are going to try, I'm going to give you a very vibrant color. We're just going to rub it onto our plastic. You don't need a whole lot, but there it is. You grab your watercolor pen. I've got a couple of them here. Um, works wonderful. You fill that up with water, give it a squeeze, get the water out of there, and add water to your scribble sticks. This is one way of doing it. So we're gonna do that. Now we're gonna go in and color some of our petals. So see, look at that color in the pigment. Doesn't that look pretty? It's like a watercolor effect. It's very neat. And a little of this color goes a long way, as you can see. You don't need much. If you buy these scribble sticks, they'd last you a long time. Well, actually, any of the projects, or sorry, products I'm showing you today, all of them will last a long time. Take a little bit more. Don't need any more squeezing from your brush because it's already got water. So there you go. 
Look how cool that is. This would be neat if you're making cards or whatever. Um, it's an alternative to using markers and uh, it looks beautiful. So there's that one. Just gonna clean off my brush. Next one we're gonna show you is, you could use that pigment for other things, but I'm not going to at the moment. I am going to show you Tim Holtz. So with his colored crayons, I'll grab a different color. We can make this nice pretty orange. This color is the Spice Marmalade. And you'll notice with Tim's colors, they all follow the same colors as his ink pads and whatnot. They're all the same, the same colors to give you an idea of his color range. So we're gonna take that, again, give it a little squirt. Now we're gonna color in this flower. Look at that bright, beautiful orange color. I add a little bit more water to this one. So you can see it's a little more muted. There's a lot of pigment to this. Look how pretty that is. And you really don't need much. So that's Tim Holtz and his distress crayons. And they're a really good price point too. Uh, and the next one I'm going to do, let's see, let's do a blue. Probably not a normal color for these, but we'll use the blue, we'll use the jumbo. And these are the gelatos. And these come usually in packages. There's some companies or some, you know, stores that will have them individual. They usually come as a package. So give that a little drop. And there's our gelato color. And look how pretty that is. See, they all kind of do the same kind of idea. Different companies, different colors. They're very similar. I know Vicki Booten also has her jumbo crayons. Same idea. So you can add your color in there. Looks very pretty. You can mix them. It's a gorgeous color. So there's that. Just gonna move that off. One thing you could do with these if you wanted to, like for example, with the scribble sticks, you could color them in. And it's okay if you don't want movement, but you could use it as an actual crayon. So that is an idea. You could also, if you want to do an outline, and these ones are really good for that because they're fine point. You could do, and then it works kind of like as like a charcoal. So you could do something like that. Just be aware that that will smudge, right? So you don't want it to smudge overly. And if you take water to it, it will move too. These ones, it's a little bit wider, so you could do that. But there's a lot of pigment and these are more waxy. So it doesn't go on the same as that one would. These ones are quite thick. So these ones aren't as easy to do that with. You could but there's a very good chance you're gonna go out of the lines. Unless that's something you wanna do, I wouldn't recommend these for that. So there is an idea. This is kind of the thing you could do. These are great for making cards or even just cutting out different die cuts if you wanna do fussy cutting. So that was with, this is the Dina Wakely. <clears throat> Excuse me. And like I said, there is a neutral pack as well that you can get for these. That's like skin tones and whatnot, and muted colors, the distress crayons, and the gelatos. And these are a lot of fun to work with. Great if you don't want to buy markers or you just want to have a different look. And there's multiple different ways that you can use these. I recommend these, and uh, I think you should check them out. 
Uh, there's just so many different things you could do with them in so many different colors and you could even mix your colors if you want to mix your colors and that would work with all of these. So anyways, like this feed, subscribe to this channel and hopefully you have a great day and happy crafting.